All right, guys, welcome back to another uh, let's or not let's play. <laughs> what am I saying? To another epic seven. Today we're doing the obvious summoning session. You know what it is? It's how we do it here. Uh, I do have quite a bit of bookmarks because um, I've been getting pretty lucky with the last. I've been getting pretty lucky with summons in general. Let's just say that, especially the last few. I kind of got them in like two summons or like ten. So I'm like. Okay, so I have a lot of bookmarks like sa saved up and stuff. So, um, anyways, before we get to the summoning, we're just gonna check out the hero real fast. And I forgot where that was. Probably summons. Let's go ahead and get this done here. Lilius. Now, this is gonna be a fire knight. Ooh, very beautiful knight indeed. Alright, so, let's check out the artifact real quick. <clears throat> At the start of the battle, grants a barrier equivalent to 15% of the caster's max health to the, ally, to the ally with the highest attack for two turns. Hmm. What? What? Hold on. Let's see what that is at max. Because honestly, at the be it's not really. Hmm. Can't really judge it just from the beginning levels, like level one. It's like it's like judging a hero at level one. You, you can kind of guess where it's going to go. Actually, it's kind of different. Yeah, it's... I don't know what I'm talking about. It's different. Anyways, let's go to journal and check out the... <coughs> check out the artifacts, because I want to know what, it, what it's like at max. Let's see. Artifact journal. Let's go. Crap. What was it? It's got to be a knight. Let's go knight here. Here we go. How do you? Oh, at max. It is 30%. That's actually kind of what I guessed. Yeah. That's actually pretty nice. Hmm, I like that. Alright, anyways. So, I think we're going to try to do that. We're going to try to get that artifact. If you do get this artifact, if you, depending on who you want to put that on, you kind of want this knight to be pretty fast so it can constantly give out barriers and stuff. So probably like HP... And like speed to really make use of this uh, barrier effect, but pretty good. It would work pretty well for her as well. Anyways, we're gonna check out her skills next. Been kind of waiting all I think the past week or whatever she was announced. Um. So yeah, we'll check her out real quick. So let's see. First, first attack. Let's see, triggers a dual attack with a random ally. Damage that was is. Increase proportional to the caster's max health. So I was thinking maybe, or well, you probably, you probably just want to be very tanky and, and probably fast, depending on your team. How fast? It, yeah, it just depends on your team. But what I like about this one, about this dual attack, as opposed to I think I think it's Tamron who does it with the highest attack. I think random enemy or random ally is pretty helpful in in general. Because like you can put this with Tamara, and then when she dual attacks, she, you know, you know you, have a, you have a chance of bringing her with you, and that'll decrease her cooldowns or just you know anyone's cooldowns. It doesn't always have to be a damage dealer. So I think that that's kind of cool. I definitely like it a lot. Mm, and since her since her damage is proportional to her max HP, you could build her as like a like maybe HP crit damage HP. Which would be which? I don't I don't know how sh how much damage she can dish out. We'll have to see when we pull her and gear her up and you know all, all that good stuff. But it's got potential, so, that, so that's good. This is actually the skill that I'm pretty excited for. Actually, what's the dual chance on that? Oh, it's for sure. Nice, nice. So yeah, having her really fast to trigger this would also be really cool. But anyways, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself here. Oh. This is attack percent. Ooh, it's only the uh the, the top and the back that that get this buff. But it's pretty good in general. I like that. All right, definitely pretty nice. <coughs> so our second skill is a two turn provoke. Well, it grants a barrier first to the caster for two turns and has an eighty five percent chance to provoke. And if you max skill this, it becomes a hundred percent chance, and you can provoke them for two turns on a four-turn cooldown when you max it out. 
And if you consume souls, you can ignore resistance, which is pretty sick. I definitely like that uh, soul sober in effect. But yeah, two turns is is actually a very long time to be um, like provoked. It's like a two, another way to kind of think about it is it's not quite the same, but it's similar in a way. It's like it's like a two turn stun. <clears throat> like one turn provokes and one turn stuns and, and like stuff like that. They are just really strong by themselves. Two turn is just insanely long, especially in like PvP. Oh, well, yeah, especially in like PvP sets, because you know you don't really play. Like, you don't go through that many rounds. Usually, I mean you can, but generally they're people try to do arenas pretty quick. Anyways, so there's that. And this is the third skill. Dispels all debuffs from all allies and commands the Perlin army to fire on all enemies. Decreasing combat radiance by 25%. Does that go up or down? Nope. Okay. And inflict damage according to the attack of the hero with the highest attack. Increases, con increases uh, caster's combat radiance by 50. So this is actually really cool. So she goes up by 50%. She pushes everyone else back by... Wait, hold on. Hold on. Okay, it is all it. Yeah, I wasn't sure if that was a single target or everyone, but pushes everyone back by twenty five percent. So that's actually really strong. Well, I mean, assuming that it goes through the the resistant check and and stuff like that, but it will boost her up though. So she can get. So if if she's really fast, she can get another turn pretty quick. And then you know. D Dispelling all debuffs, which is pretty good in general, especially it's kind of a counter to like dizzies and stuff like that too. Or it's a it's it's one counter to like dizzies and anything that really gives you debuffs. So definitely pretty good on I, I, I would would imagine this being pretty good on offense and defense. Just pretty good uh, PvP unit in general. Now this one inflicts according to your. your allies or to the ally with the highest attack so i'm not sure how much damage this can actually do but i mean even if the damage isn't necessarily there i think this is still a really good um skill but we'll see we'll see what once we get to play around with it i think the provokes actually the big one for me this one's just uh yeah i mean honestly her whole kit's pretty good i mean i'm going on a rant here anyways let's just see see the skills Everyone's kind of already seen it, so it's nothing special. I'll show you who's in charge. Ooh, I just want to see. We've already seen skill threes from pretty much every other YouTuber. And I guess skill two, actually, huh? Let's just see this one. Ooh. Oh yeah, huh? This doesn't actually like deal like damage, so you can actually use this on a water type or not a water. Yeah, yeah, you can use this on, against a water unit, and it won't and it won't miss. In theory, but yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, uh, I mean, we'll show off the third skill. Everyone's kind of already seen it though, so pretty dope. It takes a hmm. lot of courage to challenge me. All right. Hmm. Yeah, her uh, little prosthetic leg here is pretty sick. It's got like a little snake on it. It seems like. I think it's like a white snake. It's like scales and, and stuff here. Pretty cool. Alright, anyways, let's get out of this. Enough yapping. Let's get the summon. So, I'm saving up Moonlight Summons for who knows what reason. Uh, actually, I do know. There's not, yeah. We won't get into that, but I have a plenty of bookmarks to go through here. So, no reason I can't grab her. I'll probably try to get her and the artifact. I think the artifact would be pretty helpful it's gonna be good kind of everywhere so we got the compass oh what happened to the music you know we need to find like some like copyright free music that i can use for my videos if you guys know where to like find those or like point me in, point me in the right direction that would be awesome I'll, I, f I forgot where i was going but for now you're we're just gonna be stuck with the in-game music it's not bad, it's just more like lobby music at like a, ho at like a hotel. Alright. Oh yeah, so these, oh yeah, so they started doing these again. I, I forgot. Or not again, but they started doing these. 
Oh. Ooh, that was fast. Ooh, Dingo. Nice. I have the LD version, or not the, I have the ML version of them, so. <clears throat> <coughs> Sorry. So I actually need as many of these as possible. I think he's a pretty good healer. I haven't actually um, used them yet, but just from, like, on, on paper, it seems really good. It's pretty much like the type of um, Soul Weaver that I w would like. I mean, I have plenty of Soul Weavers currently. I probably have almost every single one. Except for, like, the, the ones that we're probably not getting. But yeah, pretty cool. All right, let's see, any luck? Nope. I guess we can kind of talk about some, some of these too. What is this one again? 10% chance to decrease skill cooldowns of all allies by one turn at the beginning of the battle. Which kind of only works once, really. Yeah, I guess in I guess in like stages, this, this could be good. Or actually, um, if you were to do raids, I think this could have potential. I don't know what the max... Um, I don't know what the percentage is when you max it out. Probably like 40 or 30. Uh, so far, things have been going pretty well, though. We got some good shinies. Moonlight Dream Blade. I believe this, uh... Oh, this is the evasion thing. Pretty cool. Not bad. I saw someone put it on a, on a says, I think, uh, two days ago? It's actually not bad. It, it, it was a lot more effective than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, you, you little bard. Mm, nope. Tanor Royal Guard. I think it's a knight version. Mm, I've never built it, but I don't know if it's going to be any... It seems alright, but nothing, nothing special. Let's see, increase the speed of the caster by 1% when they attack. Can stack up to 10 times. Has, has anyone ever built this artifact? I bet you this goes up to... I, I would say 5% at max level, and can stack up to 10 times. Maybe. I don't know, if I actually, if, if I could actually get artifacts, or not artifacts, um, um, the artifact charms, I can definitely get a lot more of these artifacts going here. Also, um, it's not really part of the, the uh, summoning, well, it's on topic at least. So we'll talk about it. So. There's a lot of different ways to kind of upgrade your artifacts, but actually, something that I didn't hear too much about was you can actually, you know, like go to, to your friendships points and like use those. Like, you know, if you ever run out of fodder and stuff like that, you know, while, while you're also getting fodder, you can also get those artifacts. Like, or not, yeah, yeah, you get like the one and two star artifacts. And instead of selling those, you know, if you have the money to do this, it actually would be a pretty good idea to just level up some of your lower level artifacts. And, you know, just to try to push them up. Because there's not too many ways to upgrade. I mean, you can buy the charms from, you know, the powdered system that they got. So you can get them from guilds, you can get them from, I guess, a, a decent amount of places from, like, you know, your guild shop, too. You, you can also get them there. But, you know just an additional way to uh upgrade is i would imagine being nice goblin's lamp you know some of these i really don't remember he'll ally with the lowest hp by 10 percent at the beginning of the battle mm, i don't really like this one that much it seems kind of pointless <clears throat> this one i don't remember decreases damage received by 10 percent yeah I don't know, I mean, it's alright. Oh! Alright, did we get it? Nope, but we got a 4 star hero. Could be another dingo. Leo. Oh, you know what, I can use these to skill up the ammo, or the, the Dark Leo. Which can be really good. I still haven't gone around to building all the heroes that I, that I summoned though. It's hard to build currently just because of, um, I just can't get gear. It's so hard to get gear. Maybe no one shares this uh, same predicament as me, but 
I also have a lot of units too. I have tons of units. And only like, I don't know, like six, seven, and eight are built. I, I probably would have more built if I just took more time to do it, but. Right now, I'm just farming uh, Wyvern 11. I'm not really doing much else at the moment. I'm just really trying to get my my speed sets. Yeah, I'm really I'm really trying to get really fast units. I have tons of the support units, but I don't have the speed to actually gear them. And you know, speed sets pretty good in general. Like you can put those on anyone. Like there's not a single type of unit where you would not want them to be fast, or where they have no benefit from speed. There we go. This is the uh, Wyvern 11 killer. Pretty good. If you guys haven't cleared Wyvern 11 and you haven't, and you're still figuring out your team, Turner Guard is a pretty good pick. I mean, you can run so many different comps in Wyvern. Actually, in all of them, really, but Wyvern is the one that I'm pretty familiar with. Uh, I've done A11 too. That's just kind of just happened naturally. Like, I just had everything that I needed by the time I did A11. Pretty much. Like, I had the runes and everything else too. I was, I was able to use the same units. Except I needed to get someone to uh, take out um, buffs. Like, buff removal was the only thing I needed. Which, thank goodness, it, it was a dark, um, dark hunt. Ooh. That just made things so much easier for me. Um, looks like a four star artifact. I'm cool with that. Aureus. I forgot what this does. Increases defensive all eyes by 10% and takes 10% damage. Oh, yeah. Pretty, pretty good one. I am definitely a fan. Hmm. Montmorency. I don't have her built on this account, I do have her on my, on my alt. She's so far doing a lot better than I thought, but I still need to gear her up though. I, I recently saw a video where someone brought her frontline for Wyvern 11. Like really high resistance. And apparently that helps a like helps a lot. I didn't think you could actually like... I don't know. I know you could resist the uh, strip. Which is pretty interesting. And the poisons. I figured it was just... That was just how the cookie crumbles, but nope. I was wrong, which I am glad about. Ooh, I like what they do there now. I don't know if this is uh, what the heck is this crap? <laughs> this is not the what? Ah, uh, okay. <clears throat> Oh, okay. I actually never summoned for her when she was in the banner. It's 10% chance for skill cooldowns to not occur. I assume it's like 30 or 40% when you max it out. I, I have no idea. You can like you guys can check the artifact journal if you like. I'm gonna assume it's probably like that. Um, definitely pretty cool though. I, I like it. D definitely a fan. Oh. This is going to be one of those uh, times where we're not so lucky. But we do have the uh, guaranteed summons. At least we have that going for us. But I kind of want the artifact too. I'm trying to think, is it worth it to just, just ditch the artifact? Like, like if I pull the hero first, like, eh, we don't need the artifact. Like we'll, like, we'll survive without it. Which, I mean, we will, but... Still, I actually uh, on my main account, I need to stop doing wyverns so much, and just do um, just do adventure modes and things like that. Just try to get more th like more fodder up, and probably try to get some uh, catalyst too. Cause I need, I still need to fully awaken quite a bit of units, a lot of units. Yeah. So I actually might be doing that for the next few days or week, week or two. A lot, of, a lot of big changes are coming to this game. A lot, a lot of exciting ones that I'm sure you're all also excited for. But if they're changing the uh, all for, for all the uh, was it the right side equipment to be percent instead of flats, 
if that's a thing, then I don't, then I don't really want to keep farming wyvern. Kind of want to wait for that to get fixed, in a way. But at the same time, I don't know. Oh yeah, man, this is we're going through some summons. How much did I have when we started? Well, you know what? I it it doesn't matter. <coughs> My goodness. Actually, it might be f my box might be full. Oh wait, no, it doesn't go off your box anymore, does it? It just puts them in like a like a separate storage component or whatever. Hmm. Oh, here we here we go. Um, to Papa. I was hoping for someone would show up. Either one, I would have been okay with. Hmm. Not bad. 50 more summons to go. Will I actually have to do 50 summons? I wish, um... <clears throat> I wish, like, if you pulled it earlier, you can still summon the rest of them. They'll still get your guaranteed. It would be nice. Actually, to be honest, I'm hoping for the artifact at this point. Nope. Four star. Oh, Angelica. I can definitely use that. What's her, um, uh, is it resist? Yeah, I, yeah, 12%. What the, is it for everyone? It is for everyone, nice. I haven't built her yet. I got her five starred, but that's about it. Where's all the, uh, where's all the moonlight heroes? I don't care if it's a three star. Oh, that's what happens. You have low expectations and that's where they, that's how they get you. Oh, that's four star. That's still good though. Aureus. Yeah, still good. Nothing wrong with having more of these because I still have to um, level them up too. Or, I don't, I don't think it's called leveling up. I think it's awakening. I mean, regardless. It's pretty good. Are we getting lucky? No, but it's hero. Man, I mean, how, how cool would it be to get a Moonlight hero? Oh, it's another dingo though. Like I said before, very useful. I am more than happy to take it. Oh dang, Judith. Ooh. I actually kind of want to build this, to be honest. Especially on the uh, alt account. I think she'll be very helpful. I mean, we'll see though. She's not really top priority at the moment. Oh dang. Ah, it's you again. You know what? I don't want you. I've been deceived so many times for so long. Alright, is this? Nope. Ew, it's, a, it's the birds. He looks very, like, pissed off. Like, both, both of these people look pissed. Like, why am I at the bottom? Why? Alright, Sword of the Morning. Man, this is a long summoning session, isn't it? Sorry, like 23 minutes and a half. Dang. So many summons. I s- well... My luck is usually way better than this. Maybe my unlucky stuff has finally caught up to me. It's like karma. <clears throat> okay, I can't be mad though. I got pretty lucky with the moonlights. And just in general. Ooh, uh. Okay, these. Hmm. I don't have her built. I don't think there's a place where I would use her. Like maybe for um golems, I guess. <coughs> I mean, her skill set's really good, though. She has invincibility. She has a cleanse. It's pretty good. I forgot what her first skill does. I feel like it's a, it's an attack break. But I don't know for sure. I mean, there's a chance it might not do anything. Dang, 22 more summons to go. My goodness, Helga. Ooh. I actually like her artwork. I don't have her built, but honestly, I have a little... I'm not building too many units at the moment. I'm not, I'm not like the other uh, YouTubers and other content creators who just have like 
30 freaking sixers. I just well, I, well also unlike them, I, I don't have the gear to gear up that many. If I could gear them all up, I would definitely have more sixers. But I'm trying to not sixer too many things and just I don't know. Although I really should, just for the content, I guess. But I mean, I can barely I I can barely do this. Ooh. <clears throat> Near the end. Please let this be artifact. I mean, it's artifact, but let it be the right artifact. What does this do again? I, ha I have a couple of these. As health decrease, attack and speed increase by 25%. Ew. Not bad. Ooh. I wonder if they ever do you like surprises ones. Like, it starts off like a three. Oh. Alright, what do you got for me, man? Another artifact. You're getting awfully lucky with these. I think this is the debuffer? Yeah, yeah. Decrease attack, decrease hit chance, silence, sleep, and poison. Sadly, no burn or anything like that. Seven summons to go, so... I am very, very much hoping for um, an artifact. This, I don't even know if I'm gonna. I don't even know if I want the artifact at this point. Oh, let's see, <clears throat> dude. If this is artifact, I'd be so happy. Oh. Whew. Okay. Cool. Cool. And then two more summons, and we get the hero. Nice. So we got both within the 120. Just pretty good, I guess. Or it's good. No complaints. Man, we burned a lot. Uh, this, this is the one. Alright, we'll let it play out. Doesn't even... <laughs> should I even say anything anymore? She's like, you know what it is. I'm Lilius of the Perlusha family. I'm sure you've heard of us. Yeah, that snake leg is pretty cool again. I want to know what happened here. They'll probably tell us in the side story. Alright, nice. And, oh gosh. Alright, whatever. Oh. Dang, that's so much. I mean, that's 120. Alright, anyways. Alright guys, so that'll be it for the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any feedback or anything like that, leave that in the comment section below. Be sure to check that out. And uh, if you want to check me out on Twitch, I do, uh, do do some live streams there. I think on Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, yeah, it'd be pretty fun. I uh, hope, to, hope to see you guys there if you want to hang out and stuff. If you want to talk about Epic 7, maybe things are coming up things you're excited for whatever it is um yeah anyways uh yeah i'll catch you guys next video bye shoot how do you exit this oh yeah yeah <laughs>